Edwin Parker, Cy Twombly Jr. was an American painter, sculptor, and photographer. He was born in 1928 and belonged to the same generation as Robert Rauschenberg and Jasper Johns. Twombly's artistic style had a significant influence on younger artists such as Anselm Kiefer, Francesco Clementi, Julian Schnabel, and Jean-Michel Basquiat. His most renowned works are large-scale, freely scribbled, calligraphic, and graffiti-like pieces on solid backgrounds of mostly gray, tan, or off-white colors. As his career progressed, Twombly's paintings and works on paper took on a romantic symbolism approach. The titles of his artworks can be visually interpreted through shapes, forms, and words. In his works, Twombly often referenced poets like Stephen Mallarmé, Rainer Maria Rilke, and John Keats, as well as classical myths and allegories. Notable examples of this include his works, Apollo and the Artist, and a series of eight drawings featuring inscriptions of the word, Virgil. Twombly's artistic contributions are showcased in the permanent collections of modern art museums worldwide, including the Menno Collection in Houston, the Tate Modern in London, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, and the Museum Brandhorst in Munich. He was even commissioned to create a ceiling piece for the Musée du Louvre in Paris. In a 1994 retrospective, curator Kirk Varnetto described Twombly's work as influential among artists, discomforting to many critics, and truculently difficult not just for a broad public, but for sophisticated initiates of post-war art as well. Edwin Parker, Cy Twombly Jr., an American painter, sculptor, and photographer, belonged to the same generation as Robert Rauschenberg and Jasper Johns. His influential works have inspired younger artists such as Anselm Kiefer, Francesco Clementi, Julian Schnabel, and Jean-Michel Basquiat. Twombly's best-known works are often large-scale, freely scribbled, and graffiti-like, featuring gray, tan, or off-white colors. In his later works, he shifted towards romantic symbolism, using shapes, forms, and words to convey visual interpretations. Twombly frequently drew inspiration from poets like Stephen Mallarmé, Rainer Maria Rilke, and John Keats, as well as classical myths and allegories. One example is his series of eight drawings solely inscribed with the word, Virgil. Twombly's artistic achievements have earned him a place in the permanent collections of modern art museums worldwide, including the Menno Collection in Houston, the Tate Modern in London, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, and the Museum Brandhorst in Munich. He was even commissioned to create a ceiling artwork for the Musée du Louvre in Paris. In a 1994 retrospective, curator Kirk Varnetto described Twombly's work as influential among artists, discomforting to many critics, and truculently difficult not just for a broad public, but for sophisticated initiates of post-war art as well. Twombly's artistic journey continued despite the challenges posed by critics and the art world. His impact can be seen in the works of numerous talented individuals, including François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, Joseph Benoit Suvi, Jean-Pierre saint ours François-Guillaume Menagia, Jean-Joseph Taylorson, and even his own son, Marie-Joseph. Despite his passing, Twombly's legacy lives on, demonstrating his enduring influence on the art world. In conclusion, Edwin Parker, Cy Twombly Jr., an American painter, sculptor, and photographer, has left a lasting impact on the art world. His influential works have inspired a new generation of artists, and his large-scale, graffiti-like pieces with gray, tan, or off-white colors have become iconic. Twombly's shift towards romantic symbolism and his use of shapes, forms, and words to convey visual interpretations have added depth to his art. He drew inspiration from poets and classical myths, creating a unique blend of literature and visual art. Twombly's contributions have been recognized worldwide, with his works featured in prestigious modern art museums. Despite facing criticism, his influence remains strong, making him a significant figure in the art world. <laughs>